Yeah. You know what? All my life, I was able to witness the Creator bless those who was unfortunate. If something happened to the person right then and there, they was blessed. Like, you didn't have to wait for it. And it was a true blessing. It wasn't no loan for no bank or none of that. I remember that. I remember people getting that all the way up to the end of my pop generation. After that, it stopped. So for about eight years, I think for about 15 years, it had been like that now. So I've been watching it and I was like, okay, did the creator leave Earth? Did, uh, Cause obviously you know the creator took his hands off of everybody that, you know, in this area, you know, I can't speak for the whole world. So I'm like, okay. No more blessings. So now it's like every man for himself. It's truly a dog eat dog world. Now, the shit finally hit the fan. Now everybody hurting black and white, hurting just the same. Okay, so I'm like, I ain't even worried about all that. I'm worried about why did the creator take his hands off? So I'm watching, watching, watching. And I never did figure it out. I didn't figure it out until the creator made me watch the role. Then I figured it out. I figured it out. The thing that I didn't figure out is that who told these people they can override God? For that, I would blame the churches. That's why in Revelation it said, one of the reasons I'm gonna be coming to the churches first, the house of God first. Because the people who are doing this detrimental damage, 90% uh, of these people is from a church. Don't just go now, they go. So, it's like, okay, so they basically piss God off. Now, I'm looking at these people. I done told a lot of them. I done said, hey, this is probably what's going on. They didn't register. They don't give a fuck. But they are panicking. But the last thing they want to say is that it's because of the last move they made on the chessboard. My pop generation in my lifetime is the only generation that I know that literally tries to steal from God's people. We all are God's people, I'm talking about, let me make it more clear for y'all. Everybody, God got something special for everybody. The problem is that a lot of people done abuse God. A lot of people done forsake God. A lot of people uh, don't even believe in God no more, but they should. They got their blessings and they health and everything, but they walk around here gossiping, telling lies, acting like they holier than thou. Not realizing that they soul been turned off. That's why they're able to keep telling lies and smiling and grinning like a possum. Because your dumb ass don't realize that when you die, you gonna have to go somewhere else. Energy don't die, ladies and gentlemen. You will feel it later. Uh, the doctors don't tell you this, but and I'm no doctor, so don't take it to the bank. But through my experience of death, that little 
uh, sleeping moment that everybody said, I don't remember that, no remember that, especially uh, people that go in coma, comas and stuff. I don't remember that. And they, they wholeheartedly believe that's how it's always going to be. The thing is this, the doctor said you died, but theoretically you didn't die if you was in the black hole too long. But if you was in the black hole for a few seconds or a few minutes, then that's different. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the ones who always try to take it to the bank. I don't know, you see me, so you see me. Nigga, for one, uh, you was in the hospital for two, they had probably had you under anesthesia. For three, your, your motherfucking ass wasn't dead. The doctor almost lost your ass, but they didn't. You get what I'm saying? So it's like these people ran their wells dry, male or female. All right, now, so what made God take his hands off? Because it, it seemed like something, a simple sin, right? Simple mistake. Well, what made God? I want everybody in the world to hear this now, because I don't know. My whole jurisdiction going through this. And I don't want to see another uh, country go through this shit. Trust me, y'all. These niggas down there ready to eat each other, white and black. That's how the poverty rate is. You know it's bad when motherfuckers that's usually used to keeping two hundred thousand dollars in a bank will come to me as broken as I am and ask for money. So it's done got real bad. So the problem is this. The problem is that one, they knew the people that they were stealing from was still in favor with God. So that means what? That means they know God real. Yet, they got the audacity to walk around and commit the one and only sin in the Bible that God uh, hates the most over all the rest of them happily. And that's being lukewarm. I just nailed y'all to the cross with that one, see? Because it's, so, it's church folks right now that's probably pretty good. And they saying, look warm. Looking at each other like, hell, we all look warm. Now, going back to the lecture that I did when I was on Facebook, in Revelation, it says 244,000 people go cold. You get what I'm saying? So it's 7 billion people out here. So that means it doesn't matter how many of y'all commit this sin. You go to church every Sunday and every Wednesday. You act holier than thou. And you have the audacity to happily be lukewarm. Now do you get it? You are the same people who will go get pills from the doctor and condemn a person for doing recreational drugs straight to hell. Now, let me say this to y'all people out there. I'm going to say this one more time. This was in one of my other lectures. Don't let it distract you. Don't have no selected hearing. Cocaine, opium, and weed is still growth from the earth, ladies and gentlemen. And if you look at the countries that these um, plants are grown in, they are not abused and used like America do. America do those drugs like they do the cigarettes. Like right now, I'm finna put a dent in the, I want y'all all to protect me. Cause the cigarette company might try to take me out of this one. But you can go buy a bag of healthy cigarettes online that actually increase your lungs. And you know what's the only difference is? My grandma was with me when I bought a bag. 
and she knew the stuff. She said she smoked it all the time when she was out there in the garden. And she said, really, the only difference is the fact that they ain't putting chemicals in it. Okay, America, now do you get it? Them chemicals, them pills that y'all are putting in y'all body ain't no different than meth. It's the same fucking ingredients. Rope spray, whatever else spray. Man made. None of it's grown from the earth. And if it is, the percentage is so low, it don't count. Trust me, I done experimented with it. So, now, just in that little statement alone, that should have just made everybody stop wanting to damn call people out of their name when it comes to drugs. Because I could pretty much guarantee over 90% of the world is on some kind of medication from the doctor. Happily. Now, do you get it? Now, back to what I was trying to say earlier about being lukewarm. Go look it up. That's one sin in the Bible he do not tolerate. My question is this, America. Why is that the one sin that the vast majority of us love to break the most? I don't. It took me a while to get out of it because was, I was in it for years through programming by my own parents, and so is you. Now do you get it? Huh? So, um, but yeah. So I, I, I left this one individual and I went around as many as possible since I'm out, uh, since I'm working for myself at the moment and not for nobody else. Cause I'm the kind of man that tried to take full advantage of time these day. That's why I play no games with no woman. <laughs> Shit, I don't give a fuck. I don't care how she look. Mm-mm. Cause I got seven sisters. So, uh, that statement also should make everyone, preachers and all, want to reevaluate themselves and probably even step down until they fix themselves, which is nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. nothing at all so for the rest of the countries out there I saw the puzzle I saw the missing piece that's why like a lot of my lady friends online don't get my situation because my situation in my jurisdiction over 70 80 percent of the people are in this situation you get what I'm saying now Let's say you were surrounded by 100,000 people uh, when it comes down to so many miles before you can get, get out get away from them. Out of them 100,000 people, 70,000 are corrupt, lukewarm. So if you're in a position like me, asking someone for help with a discerning spirit is still gonna be dangerous because you don't know the agenda. That's why Yin Yang is here to void, eliminate, and put lukewarm back into its place because just like lust and love, lukewarm and uh, neutral got messed up. or proactive, whatever you want to call it. That's why um, and trust me, drug dealers are not, I'm telling y'all, listen, 
Back when I was coming up in the game, with more trees out here back then. I don't know if y'all DPS it like I said, but it, yeah, it was the hood then. So when the cops would come through and run on us, we had these secret spots in the woods that we would run. And they wouldn't know it. Of course, we would beat them running. So we would even immediately fall into this hole, almost like some Batman shit. And they be lost. But the problem is with that is, a lot of times we would be carrying about fifty to twenty-seven thousand dollars worth of dope or cash, and we'll throw that first. We'll get rid of that first. And when drug dealers used to do that, we used to do that so much back then, it didn't matter if a dope dealer was almost a millionaire. He damn near went broke when he had to run from the law that time. Because normally, they catch up with us when re-up season. And dope dealers know what I'm talking about when I say re-up season. That's the season you don't want nobody fucking with you. That's the season when a woman, a person that don't beat women, beat women. <laughs> Shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the season where the word kick in. Because that man knows if he ain't getting, he don't get that money back, she gone anyway. So, now do we get it? Now we see why the creator said itself Luke Warm was one of the top sins that he do not like. Okay, y'all, come on now. Because it's, uh, here, yeah, man would call a person out their name, not realizing that the fucking drug they doing probably worse than the motherfucker that they keep downplaying. So that's just contradiction, lies, a bunch of bullshit, some man shit. Move that shit, throw that shit in the trash because it's irrelevant. And put the, uh, put God back in the equation, which is relevant. And that would be what? Lukewarm. What do lukewarm mean, ladies and gentlemen? If you, lukewarm is a word you probably only gonna hear in a church. But, What's a word that means the same as lukewarm in the street? Player hater. See, you can't figure nobody out like that. You literally got to look in their heart. And normally, the creator don't want to do that until you get up to the Libra scale. If he got a monitor you 24 seven that, that, to that degree, then you gonna make it hard for him to be able to take care of everybody else. I mean, you, not really, I'm just saying, just, it's gotta be a reason. I mean, for him to do this. I don't know what his reason is, but obviously it's, hard, it's heavy on it. But out of all the Bibles in the world, the creator do not play about lukewarm. That lets you know right there, he'll, but he'll shoot a player at him. <laughs> Very, right, real shit. So, um, my pop generation somehow inherited lukewarm. And if you notice these overly righteous, overly uh, religious people, eventually over the time, they start to think they actually God or the devil. And they'll ride around, and when one group of people quit listening to them, they'll find a whole new group. But let me show you something, and you can, I'm going to prove this to you. I'm going to show you the power in God. I want y'all to, even though it seems so simple, you can go look for it anyway, because you need to understand that God is real, because that's the problem. These people was our parents, and they taught us how to be lukewarm, happily, and comfortably. But my friends, you can get every, you can get every Ten Commandment right, and just be lukewarm your whole life, and go straight to hell. Why? Because it's impossible to get every Ten Commandment right if you look warm. Think about it. If you look warm and you acting like you don't talk about people, 
but you do. Why? Because you can't be lukewarm if you don't talk about folk. You just don't talk about people to their face. You do it behind their back. With just that, just off of that. Just off of that, being under the uh, word lukewarm, you're going to break three more Ten Commandments, which is telling lies, worry about your neighbor ox, and uh, you, know, you just name one, you'll find one. And that's just a piece of lukewarm. That's why if I was a homosexual, if I wanted to do something that most people would want to hide, like my drug issue, it really isn't. I could have been uh, been saved from this torment. But once the drug got out about me, it was like my help faded away. Even though I told them I've been on drugs since this and uh, told them my health reasons, they didn't give a fuck. All they was concerned with is the drug. They just totally forgot about all the work and shit that I've been putting in, all the stuff that I've been doing. They sitting back, producers and all, waiting on me to fall from a drug. And even if I fail the day and die from the drug, I still did way too much, way more than over half of y'all artists and could have already been signed and made billions of dollars for us all. That's how we know y'all don't need that money. Y'all just being stingy with that machine in your backyard because you know how uh, us people with money can get. We can turn into a paper asshole real quick. And just because our wife cheating on us or some bullshit at home, well, I don't do that shit. But for the vast majority of us, do it. Have a bad day at home, you want to blame the world. <clears throat> So let's say these people say they, I ain't helping him because he talked too much. Or he, well, I already done said what needs to be said. It really ain't nothing else that I can say unless the creator tell me something else. And I already know he probably ain't because I know my job. And my spiritual work on earth is almost done. And I'm already in the midst of the last spiritual job. I'm free after this. I can travel any damn way. I can go with Elon Musk to Mars. Thank you, bro. So, now do you get it? Now, go evaluate, reevaluate all these. If y'all going through the same thing my uh, little city going through, then go evaluate these people. And the sad part about this is these people probably are wealthy families or families with old money. In turn, meaning these families are in cahoots with other big corporations. So if that family is upside down, then guess what? The corporation is upside down. And my job is to turn it right side up, which is very hard, especially without the twin. But that's no matter because as brilliant as my twin will be, whatever decision she made, since we cut from the same cloth, I automatically know she killed herself right then and there. She probably did all that work up to this now just to make this one failure mistake. That's why I got on there and did that lecture my last week on Facebook when I said, y'all, please don't cross me. Cause y'all gonna find out why my house look gloomy in the hood. My nigga love me. They just know not to cross me. Cause bad misfortune coming forward. Enough of a witch that you gonna call me a witch or the devil regardless. Cause my ancestor is gonna wear your ass out like that movie Six 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 Route. You know what I'm saying? 
Go and evaluate these people, and I guarantee you these people are in probably high positions, going to great churches, and a lot of people listen to them, which is never good for a lukewarm individual because he might be good at business. He might be good in front of an audience, but behind closed doors at the personal parties, he's the worst scumbag there. Mm -hmm. That's why I told y'all don't send me no mail. I've been having my mail stole. Listen to what I told y'all my wife said. I'm finna go drop you off in the same hole that you bust your ass to get out of, cause I know they hate your guts. See, that was a parable for her to me. Letting me know, nigga, you gonna have to go through all that shit again just to get paid. See, I never got mail here, here unless it came to damn near blows. And now he too old and I'm too furious and mad at the moment just still off the fact that they took my child. And I'm scared I'm going to kill somebody Steven Seagal style. So I just bite my lip, hope for the best, and hope by the grace of God, another God-fearing individual who is not programmed by social media can come unglued from the chair and say, let me just check on this individual, even if it's just a call. So far, nothing. Except the scam people. Thank y'all for that. Keep me from being lonely. Cause I ain't got shit to lose, so it don't matter if you keep calling me. Cause I ain't gonna never answer my phone and give you no kind of. If you want, you already got my information. That's why you calling me, asshole. What more can I give you? You want me to give somebody else number so you can fuck their life up too? So that's that's the thing. That's the problem here, y'all. We, are, we have became so programmed, we don't even realize that we support the evil. And I ain't talking about that homosexual shit. Like I said, y'all, whatever decision a human being choose to make on their life, that's between them and God. And so far that making that legal shit, you can't put that on Obama. Hell, they were finna do that anyway. They just made Obama do it. Quit playing. And that's why I'm gonna go ahead and clear away with that. I can't tell y'all because that's another dangerous, uh, that'll be too much on me at the moment. But Obama, for, for me and my group, he got in there to do one thing which was vitally important for black folks in the direction that the world is going in. Now, my twin and somebody would know this by now. That's one of the things I was going to tell them, but I can never say it on social media. But if you knew why Obama went in there, and if you really knew what Obama did, you would never talk sideways about him again. Cause he saved us. Just put it like this. It's a safety belt for martial law. That's the best I can tell you. So, now, that's they fault. And for my twin, if that was the twin, but to whatever twin out there, for future references, when the creator brings something to your forefront, and like I said, if you cut from my cloth, you truly love God. Don't you ever in your motherfucking life drop it for a motherfucking bag. That's like spitting in his face. Imagine, not Jesus, imagine spitting in God's face. Of course you see your, uh, treacherous, I mean, of course you see um, turmoil down the road. You just spit in God's face and you one of the elite in the high place. You in big trouble. 
Now, I don't have to reach out to you. Now, I don't have to like your shit. Now, I can look forward to you coming to my door one day with an apology. Rather you want to be with me or not. Because you already know you got to clear that wave. And you know the deal because you said more than I said. And you didn't have to hear me say it. When someone cross us, what's the rule? They got to come to our face and apologize. And then the last uh, decision is still on God. Rather than not, he would lift the curse from your eyes. You know the deal. You know the drill. You sit there and mumble there and talk about it all day long, 24-7. That really what should have blown your mind. You knew we was twins. Ain't nobody else in the world talking like us. And the sad part is, is I hope you wasn't trying to take me out because they were going to put you in a straight jacket because we talk about aliens and everything. And we black, dark black. The only reason why me and you both still here to lie now, I mean, partially, is because of the fact that it's two of us black. So get back and support the blacks. <laughs> Shit. Knowledge is power. Unfortunately, I can't learn it by reading it like y'all because of the way my brain is. I literally got to take time off from life and get with nature and em embrace it. I've been going through dark nights of the soul my whole life. This is just the longest one. The last one, I think, was about two years. It's been almost three years now. But I ain't worried about... <clears throat> yeah, I am worried about the money. I'm a Capricorn. I need some goddamn money. But I ain't worried about it. Because every time the dark night of the soul is over, I be... He made sure that my cup is over full. So I ain't sweating it. And this time, by the grace of God, I got rid of the dead weight. So I ain't carrying it. With that being said, I'm going to have plenty of fun. Money ain't going to be looking funny no more. So, see, I know y'all finna listen to me. Because I was just like y'all. I needed to see a video. I needed to see some cartoons. I hated lectures, but I always wanted to do them. Why? Because I always, and I've been practicing this for a very long time. I told the creator, because a lot of people, Dick Gregory spoke on it. It is so hard to get our people to sit down and watch a lecture longer than 10 minutes, if that. But now I can confidently say, by the time I'm finished, everybody and their mama gonna be listening. Wanna listen, go to sleep on it. Feel good, feel healed. Feel like the old church used to be. Where people was real. But the great thing about this is, is that y'all, it's only, it, this, this parasite that we created, this germ, this disease that we created is only just in our generation. Right now, y'all, even the broke, broken of us blackest ass niggas can save the world by making sure we eliminate these lukewarm individuals by putting them back in their place. And the best thing I can tell you, everybody's experience is gonna be different so you can talk to everybody different. The best thing I can tell you about a person that's lukewarm, they got a baby brain. I don't care how much, I don't care who they is, what kind of shoes they wear. If they millionaires and they lukewarm, they got a baby brain. They don't know no better. So you just treat them like you'll treat your child. They'll get right. Just try not to waste too much energy in their ass. And after you heal them, they gonna call you up. Them gonna be the individuals you ain't gonna be able to answer their phone all the time. I 
don't give a fuck what it is. They could be losing their life. It don't matter. God I got them. Your job was to heal the poison inside of this individual. Exercise it. You did that. So your job is finished with that person. He wouldn't have been able to get that from nobody else. Everybody that I done healed, financial, everything around them grew so much so that they all doing better than me now. And they still have the audacity to come to me if they fall. Not this time though. I done told them too. Don't walk up to me. Don't come up to my house. Don't get embarrassed when you, you lose your job, you go down that same road. Cause we got them cycles, them, them <clears throat> situations come around, y'all. Motherfuckers left me alone talking about, and some of them were so-called conscious people talking about, uh, after I helped them get on their feet, get back off their nose, they came to me crawling. My ex was pregnant. They should have been helping me. Instead, I had to help them get up and get back in a good job. Because they was in the rig, because they nasty-ass attitudes and shit with the rest of the jobs. I don't know if y'all know what that means, but look it up. <clears throat> and one particular individual drained me so dry, what he don't know is every time I seen his ass, he only came around when he didn't have a job. He ain't never been a friend, nigga. That's why I sent a message back to the nigga you told that you don't fuck with tat no more. That good. Just make sure when you get back flat on your back, do not walk in my yard unless you want to be embarrassed by tat. Cause I'm gonna do you like my brother used to do you. Slap. <laughs> Now I see why my brother you slap you nigga. You nigga was straight old boy. You niggas, even if you started today and say I'ma be loyal to Tat, you still will owe me when we die. You don't have the right to shit on a nigga like me. You should have been thanking God for a nigga like me. <clears throat> And for the record, your last manager caught me at the grocery store. He was filing some big shit on your ass. He was finna finish you off till he seen me. Cause we used to trap together back in the days. And he knew that. He asked me, a long, he talked to me for a long time about your ass. And it was because of me he didn't file them shits on your ass. You didn't know that shit though. If he'd have filed them shits, you wouldn't have that good job today, dog. You better know it. And go ask him. He'll tell you. Now, <clears throat> anyway. Because at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, everybody want a goddamn dollar, right? But why are y'all kicking the ones who actually revenue the bag? It don't matter if they give you the damn bag or not. They introduce you to the bag. <laughs> Hell, if you can't fill your John Hancock on a piece of paper to get the bag, then hell. So, where do we go from here, ladies and gentlemen? And for the record out there, I want to tell some of y'all something. Over 80% of the knowledge I've been giving to y'all ever since social media, I mean Facebook, for somebody to sit down and talk to me for about two, three hours, and I got to give them two or three hours of some of that stuff, off top, that's six hundred dollars. So don't ever call me lazy again, cause I could have been done with the work and left y'all niggas in the wind. See, the creator know I'm not gonna do this when I go back to work. I don't give a fuck how good you think I am and what you two telling lies about giving me. I'm not gonna do it. 
Just like I'm not giving y'all no more of the story. I mean, I'm already filling in the gaps for you niggas. You niggas talking about tell out no, you niggas sound like GMO when you say that. I wish the nigga would. And if I did, Snoop Dogg couldn't say I was a gangster. I ain't no gangster if I did. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dry snitching ass nigga too. Shit, I need some money here. And if it is a doppelganger out there, or somebody out there that's taking my shit, if y'all want it bad enough, go get them. You know my situation, how the fuck I'm gonna be able to do anything? Go get them, put them in their place, and uh, get my money. Bring my money to me, and we'll keep this damn boat going. Otherwise, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna shut the fuck up, happily. So we all can just shut the fuck up. But honestly, to be real with y'all, I'm delighting y'all day and delighting y'all night. Because before I high, everything that got so goddamn bored, we was all ready to kill each other. Even the elites who made it not right. <laughs> so rather you say something good or bad about me, I'm the difference in your day. Now, is it that right? Boss. I want to say it in a comedy manner, see if it still had that. I love uh, that goddamn show. I ain't watched. Uh, I think that guy named is Seven, y'all. That's a great ass teacher, too. The last, he was the one I was going to pay to teach my son by the age of four years old. He was the one I was dealing with before Muji. I just fell in love with Muji ass and I just let go of everything, even the knowledge I should have been learning. And I you know God get on to me now, but he let me ride with it for a while because he knew that I needed to be in a meditative state, seeing that I was going to be in this situation for this long of a wait. See, <clears throat> My ex caused a ripple effect. Not just in the life we living in now, but in the astro. And it almost affected my twin, which it did, but she just gonna probably go to a, a, a spiritual prison when she passed on for a while, which is still on now. And it's terrible, trust me. Uh, but she ain't gonna be, you know, going to hell and all that shit. Now for my ex, I don't know. You gonna have to uh, take that up with God. But like I said, when I went to hell and he pulled me out, so many of y'all and so many of my family was in there. And I already know the position where you stuck there. In the mouth of the Leviathan. Y'all stuck in the walls of the Leviathan State Snake. You got to go all the way through the Leviathan just to get to hell. Y'all stuck in the walls. But your destination is the worst part of hell. That's where lukewarm people go. So for y'all motherfuckers out there playing lukewarm, y'all get to go to the worst hell that most of the angels got to go to. Ooh, trust me, you don't want to do that. You already scared of hell now. You oughta heard what God told me about the angel hell. A uh, hell for an angel. So if you go in that deepest part of hell, you might as well be in there with the angels. You get it now? Y'all don't want that. Y'all cowards here. The fuck make y'all think y'all ready for the big bad wolf? The real. The one everybody keep throwing blood on for a dollar. The one everybody <laughs> run to before God. And God created him. God can stop him. But y'all acting like y'all can stop him. With the devil help. First of all, the devil ain't gonna be with you to fight against him. You can forget this shit. I don't care what he tell you. He probably gonna kill me for that shit, but it's the truth. <laughs> That's why y'all losing y'all ass fucking with the chosen one. 
Like that kid that died, what was it, two years ago, the first chosen one that died. Y'all didn't hear no more about that shit, did you? I bet they whole goddamn family suffered. <laughs> that was a generation of curse couldn't wait, dawg. I'm gonna go research if I can find them. Hell, I can't find them. I can't find the stories or nothing. And you know when it get that deep, that means that one individual that they kill affect everybody. Even the oppressor that paid the dumb nigga that wasn't the color of the dumb nigga. That means that powerful motherfucker don't even wanna hear it no more. Took it off the goddamn radio. That was one bad kill right there. I bet we all can learn something from him, whoever the hell he is. And that got, I don't even want to know who the damn shooter was. I know he gone. If he ain't dead, he wish he was dead. Because if you ain't a homosexual, prison or not, somebody gonna get you, buddy. <laughs> Cause you fucking with godly people that's here to heal in turn meaning this person did nothing to you and you made them suffer so somebody bigger and better than you made you suffer worse <laughs>